I think you may have some inkling of why I have summoned you here. It concerns the future of the Musen royal line. It has been three years now since you came here to our kingdom, and while I can only imagine your pain at having lost your realm under such tragic circumstances, there comes a time when one must turn from the past and begin to look forward. I wonder if you might consider making your stay here a more long-term arrangement. Prime Minister Horton has convinced me that in finding you a suitable match, we might sooner bring about the restoration of your kingdom. Has he indeed? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, with King Vernon's permission, I have instructed my heralds to canvas potential suitors for you, Princess Gloria. Muser's unfortunate end need not mean the end of its illustrious line, after all. I see. And have you any thoughts on the matter, Sir Sloane? The honourable gentleman's line of reasoning is not without merit. Such an arrangement would indeed benefit Musa in the long term. Ah, wise words, Sir Sloane. Your reputation as both a warrior and a thinker is well deserved, I see. Yet I would not dream to speak for Her Highness, of course. Tis she and she alone who must decide. King Vernon, your concern for my well-being is, as ever, far more than I deserve. Alas, I have a sacred duty to perform before I can even begin to consider such worldly affairs. This being so, I am afraid I have no choice but to respectfully decline your suggestion. What? How dare you treat my... I mean, King Vernon's kind offices with such disdain. Why, a match has been all but agreed already. Do you wish His Majesty to look a fool? That will be quite enough, Horton. We have no right to expect anything of Princess Gloria beyond her kindness in hearing us out. We are friends and allies of long standing, and her wishes will be respected. If it is not impolite to ask, Your Highness, what is this sacred duty of which you speak? The time has come for me to recover my kingdom's greatest treasures, the Four Crystals. <sighs> Fortunately, thanks to Sir Sloane, the Wind Crystal is safely in my possession already, but the whereabouts of the others remain unknown. And that does not bode well. Fire, water, wind, earth. Nature's masters. The... It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I heard it was bad, but... <sighs> oh, let's do this. Okay, then. Nothing. Ah, I'm going all in. Ah! 
Crikey! Sorry, pal. I didn't see you standing there. How many times have I told you, look before you cast? You can't just jump in spells blazing. And how many times have I told you? I'm a big picture guy. He's all right, isn't he? Don't sweat the details. Someone has to when you're going around nearly frazzling people. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, who are you exactly? Just a couple of concerned passersby. This guy's a wandering scholar, and I'm the one he hired to try and keep him out of trouble. The name's Adele. Oh, and I'm Elvis. <laughs> anyway, enough chit-chat. We've got a battle to finish. Try not to incinerate anyone, okay, Elvis? Aye, aye. <laughs> I'll do my best. All right, then. Okay! Yeah! I'm all set! Andy in a scrap, aren't you, laddie? That was some tasty brawling. It really was. You were definitely more help than a certain so-called scholar I could mention. Oh, aye, less of that. I pulled my weight fair and square. Isn't that right, pal? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, definitely. Oh, you're only saying that because he put you on the spot. It's all right, you know. You can tell us what you really think. Besides, if you're nice to this one, it'll only go to his head. <laughs> and what would be so wrong with that, eh? Go on, son. Praise away. I could do with a wee boost to the old self-esteem. Believe me, that's the last thing he needs. Your Highness, a wandering merchant brings most worrisome tidings. The Desert Kingdom of Savalon. Come on, then. Let's have it. Here I go. Okay, what's the plan? Huh? All I'm right. going all in! Yeah! 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 That was a piece of cake. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. <laughs> 